How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'll be showing you 10 hidden android settings that you need to change right now on your android smartphone trust me these changes will definitely make your android using experience much better so stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started when you are out in a public place You might get notifications on your phone asking you to connect to a public Wi-Fi network. This can be super annoying if you have no intention of connecting to any unsecured networks. Did you know you have the option to disable these kind of notifications on your phone? All you have to do is just head over to the settings, select networks and internet. Now select internet and scroll it until you find this option that says network preferences. From here you can easily disable this option called notify for public networks. I am sure a lot of you must be using a screen protector on your android phone but did you know this can actually reduce the responsiveness of your screen. Luckily most android smartphones has a screen protector mode available in your phone settings. So simply open the settings menu, select display, then you need to enable this option that says screen protector mode. Now what it does is it improves the touch response when using a screen protector on your phone and the best part is it also improves the speed of your fingerprint scanner so definitely try this one out If you really annoyed by the ads that you get on your phone while using apps or visiting any websites you get these kind of pop up ads that nobody wants to see and it does consumes a bit of your mobile data as well Let me show you one amazing trick by using which you can easily block ads on your phone without the need of installing any third party application just go to settings select networks and internet here you will find this option called private dns it will be turned off by default just change it to private dns provider and type dns.adguard.com finally click on save and that's it i would also recommend you to restart your phone once now after completing all these steps you will not see a single ad on your phone and even the browsing speed will get improved as well Definitely change this setting. It's like a built-in ad blocker for your Android phone. For the next couple of hidden settings, you need to enable the developer options on your phone and to do that, just head over to the settings, select about phone, tap on this build number for 7 times. If you go back, you will have this brand new menu called as developer options. Simply go inside and from here you can activate a lot of cool features on your phone, but I will show you only the useful ones. In the developer options, you will find something called as mobile data always active once you turn it on what it does is whenever your wifi signal is weak or inactive it switches on your mobile data automatically so you don't have to manually turn on this toggle and you will have seamless switching between your wifi and mobile data well it does consumes a bit more battery but if you always want to stay connected with internet then you can surely enable this hidden feature almost every android phone comes with 90 or 120 hertz refresh rate And even if you have enabled the high refresh rate option by going into the display settings when you open apps like Twitter or YouTube the refresh rate goes down to 60 hertz and it doesn't feel very smooth now to fix this there is a hidden setting available in the developer options if you scroll down you will get this option called four speak high refresh rate it is disabled by default but you can just go ahead and turn it on it consumes a bit of your phone's battery but it will make sure your refresh rate always stays at 120 hertz and it definitely makes the animations a lot smoother if i open my quick settings you see i have this brand new toggle called sensors off once i turn it on it basically disables all the sensors on my phone i use this feature when i don't want any suspicious app or a website to access any of my information it just disable all your phone sensors including your cameras microphone gyroscope proximity sensor gps and more Now let me show you how to activate this feature on your phone. Again go back to the developer options, scroll it down until you find quick settings developer tiles. Now go inside and enable this option called sensors off. That's it. You will get this brand new toggle called sensors off in your quick settings and I think you should definitely enable this setting if you're really concerned about your privacy. Next in the settings, if I go to notifications, advanced settings, here I have this option called notification history. Once you turn it on it basically shows all the notifications that you receive on your phone. This can be extremely useful when you accidentally swipe down any notifications from your quick panel. 
you can access that notification by using this amazing feature. Not only this, you can also see all the deleted messages from your friends in WhatsApp. Let's say if someone has deleted a message after sending it to you, you can open notification history and view the message that has been deleted. By default, most Android phones shows all your notifications in your lock screen and even if you have locked your device, the other person will be able to see all those important notifications. To fix this, just go to the settings menu, select lock screen and then select lock screen notifications. Here you can simply enable this option called hide content. Now it only shows the app icon from which you have received the notifications instead of showing the actual content. Next, if you go to settings and search screenshots, you will find screenshots and screen recorder. Just go inside and turn on this option called delete shared screenshots. Now whenever you take any screenshots on your phone, it gets automatically deleted once you share it to your friends. So it will not get stored in your gallery and you can definitely save a lot of your storage as well. There are times when we mute our phones and forget to put it back to normal mode. Let's say you are in a meeting or you just want to temporarily mute your phone. All you need to do is go to notification panel, tap below the mute icon and you will get this option called temporary mute. Simply turn it on and you can also set the timer so it automatically switches back to normal mode after that specific time. I think it's a very useful setting that you might need to turn on. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some important settings that you need to change on your Android phone. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.